So um, let's get right into it. Uh, first question is from Rebecca Murray at about.com. Uh, she asks, what should video gamers keep an eye out for uh, for anybody that's not familiar with the source material or, or wouldn't necessarily notice? Well, we really set out to make a movie that you didn't need to be a video gamer to appreciate, and it's really a movie for everyone. But at the same time, for uh, people who have played Prince of Persia games, uh, there are a lot of moments that uh, I think you know gamers can pick up on. Um, Michael from GameZone.com asks, uh, with the advances in computer generation, the gap between the virtual worlds of games, which are only limited, uh, which are only limited by imagination, and what can be achieved on screen, has narrowed so much. There are even complete overlaps between the two mediums now. The audience may or may not be aware of how hard that is. What challenges are you facing when you work so deeply with CG elements? Well, it's interesting. I mean, definitely, video games, you know, are looking more and more like movies to the point where like the graphics can be almost photorealistic, and, and movies, you know, are, are now using. Uh, CGI, you know, digital methods to create kinds of action that before you could see only, only you know, in video games. But you know, for me, it's like in trying to make a video game that tells a story. Uh, it's uh, it, you know, it's really important to remember that it's a game that's going to be played, you know, by someone with a controller, you know, in hand. Whereas uh, you know, a movie is a story that's watched. You don't have that interactive element. So for me, it's like the story comes first, you know, the, the demands of the medium, and just like understanding what the viewers or the players' experience is going to be, and then using the technology to support that, you know, rather than kind of let the technology, uh, you know, be the cart leading the horse. Um, how many of those involved with the project uh, were familiar with the game or had played the game prior to starting production? Uh, that's interesting. Uh, you know, I wrote the first draft of the screenplay, and uh, you know, Mike Newell. I I, I don't. I mean, he said that he tried to play the game, and I uh, kept falling, you know, onto the spikes. Uh, I, I know that Jake definitely played it, you know, as a kid, and we've talked about that. I never had the chance to, you know, sit down and play with Jake, but certainly, you know, when, when I got to, uh, you know, to the set and, 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 you know, got to meet a lot of the, you know, the craftspeople, you know, who had been responsible for creating, you know, the look and feel of the production, it's like I found that many, many of them had played versions of the games and actually drawn on the games, you know, in many ways beyond what was in the script. You know, in the, the costumes, uh, props, weapons, and uh, you, you know, right down to the, you know, the stunts and the parkour, you know, of the action. Uh, several of the journalists participating are asking if you've been involved with any of the extras that are being created for the DVD. Um, you know, I, I I don't I don't know. I haven't I haven't seen the DVD. Uh, I, I I know that um, uh, some uh, some of the sketchbook uh, uh, sketches that I did on set in Morocco. Uh, they've asked for them, but I don't know, you know how or if those are going to be used. Uh, Dana from CinemaSpy.com asks, why do you think video games often have a hard time transferring from game to screen? Yeah, y y you know, the, in making a movie, it's like whatever the source material, you know, it's got to work, you know, as a movie in its own right. And, uh, you, you know, a movie that's based on a game, I think, is particularly tricky because the element that makes a game successful is the gameplay. And that's uh, the one element that can never transfer to film, you know, no matter how you do it. Uh, because the media are so different. So I think, you know, in making a video game movie like any movie, you know, it's about the story, it's about the characters, uh, and, you know, all, all of the elements of filmmaking, you know, have to work on their own merit, you know, regardless of uh, the fact that it was once a game. Um, Simon from interaction.com asks, what made you want to transform the game into a feature film, and kind of what was the motivation behind that? Yeah, you know, Prince of Persia is a game that was really inspired by movies, you know, back in the 80s when I was programming the first game on the Apple II, I was watching movies like Raiders of the Lost Ark, uh, the 1940 Thief of Baghdad, and you know that kind of you know action and romance. You know, I wanted to get that spirit in, into the game, and uh, you know, to me, like if Prince of Persia, you know, was going to work as a movie, you know, it, it would be as that kind of movie, you know, sort of a throwback to those old-fashioned adventure films, and uh, you know, that, that that's what I hope that this movie is. Um, how do you overcome the expectations of fans that played the video game and kind of already have an understanding of the characters in the world already when you transfer it to, uh, to film? Yeah. Well, it's interesting. You know, I think any time that you have something that you know, millions of people have you know, experienced and enjoyed in another medium, whether it's a video game or a novel, uh, you, know, you, you sort of develop your own idea of the characters in the world you know, in your imagination. And there's no way that it, you know, a movie can match that because when you cast a flesh and blood actor in a role, uh, they're not going to match uh, the character that you imagine because everybody imagines the character differently in their own way. 
you know, so I hope that gamers, you know, who've enjoyed Prince of Persia games will approach the Prince of Persia movie, you know, as a new experience, something hopefully entertaining, you know, that will transport them to another place and, uh, and time and remind them of the games, you know, in a good way. I mean, for me, you know, at, as a gamer, you know, this is the kind of movie that I've loved since I was a kid. You know, it, it's, it's a great adventure story, and I think it's, you know, it's, it's true to the spirit and, uh, y you know, the universe of Prince of Persia, although it doesn't follow the story of the games, uh, you know, literally. Mm -hmm. um, what was your favorite part about shooting the film, and if you had to name one element that makes the movie stand out, what would it be? Well, you know, so, so much of the production just really, you know, blew me away to, you know, because it's one thing to, you know, to imagine it or, or write it and then, but to see what actually goes into creating a production of the scale, you know, the attention to detail, you know, every aspect of the production and, and you know, then going to Morocco to these fabulous locations, you know, the reality of it was so much more, uh, you, you know, than, than, than whatever I had imagined. Uh, but the, you know, ha having spent 20 years, you know, working with the games and, you know, you know, trying to you know, create this kind of you know running, jumping, parkour action. I, I think the first time I saw a sequence uh, cut together of uh, Jake as Prince Dastan fleeing over the rooftops of this city, and you know being you know chased by guards, shooting arrows at him. You know that just brought a smile to my face because it, that was you know the kind of you know, action that I'd imagined you know in creating the games, and, and yet it was uh, you know fully realized on the screen. You know, it's just so visceral, so vivid, you know, so much more. Um, you talked a little bit about the process of transferring the, the story and the narrative from the game into the film, but um, you know there's there's somewhat of a stigma against the genre and the transfer process, and there's some you know film critics such as Robert Ebert even who have been kind of you know critical of that process. And now that you've you've been one that has made that transformation, what would you say about um, you know the the adaptation process and kind of the again the transfer into the film genre, you know, given some of those those stigmas that are attached to, to that genre? Well, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, video games, uh, whatever Roger Ebert may think, uh, are an art form, you know, in their own right, uh, but they're an art form that you have to play, you know, you know to, uh, to experience, whereas, whereas m movies are watched. Those two things are very different, you know, it's a very different kind of relation between the player or the viewer and, and the storytelling. So I think in any kind of adaptation, it's just really key uh, to understand the medium that you're creating in, to respect the strengths and weaknesses of that medium, and uh, you know, in the case of, of film, you know, whether it's adapted from a video game or a novel or a stage play, you know, you ha you have to take uh, creative liberties in adapting it in order to make something that's going to work on its own as a movie, and, and I think that's the key. How important was it for you to have a hand in writing the script as opposed to having another writer kind of you know hand it off to that person to adapt your material? Well, you know, I've uh, I've wanted to write screenplays and make movies, you know, since I was a kid, and you know, you know, even when I was creating the first. Uh, Prince of Persia game on the Apple II in the 80s, you know, I, I was also, uh, you know, going to film school, making student films, writing screenplays, so, you know, for me, you know, the chance to finally, uh, you know, ha have a, you know, feature film come to the screen, you know, based on this game that I created on the Apple II, you know, 20, 25 years ago, you know, is absolutely great, and, you know, it was, it was really important to me to, you know, to be the one to adapt the game into a screenplay and to be part of that process. Very cool. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time that we have with you today, but we appreciate you talking with everybody and answering a couple of questions. Well, um, thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks. We'll be back in just a moment with uh, Sir Ben Kingsley.